Hey, Clint, get outdoors. Jiggity jack yourself before you wreck yourself. Come on, dog. You know what it is. Get out and take a breath of fresh air. Realize, regulate yourself before you lose your life on gambling and booze. Yeah, you know it's going down. Yeah, I'm kicking it up in the backwoods. Yeah, it's going down out here. Yeah, you know it's going down in South Town. I kick it up around here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's going down in the South. Yeah, you know I kick it up dirty South. You know it's going down tonight. Yeah, at the karaoke. Yeah, that's that trip talk. But anyways, hey, listen, buddy. Don't give up on you, man. Get that booze out of there and get the gambling gone, dude. It's an addiction. Don't do it. You know, I go by gas stations every day, pass them all the time, and never once hop up in there and buy scratch-offs because you lose more than you win. And you think you're going to get something big time. You might get it once in a blue moon, but how much money do you spend to get that once in a blue moon? It all comes back to bite you in the end. So don't give in. Don't give in. Stay away from it. Back away from it. You'll feel much better. You know, I mean, yeah, it feels good to win occasionally, but it ain't going to happen all the time. And then most time you're going to take that winnings and go back and dump it back in the pot again and then lose what you just won on more scratch-offs that don't give you nothing. And then what are you? You're out. You know what I'm saying? Trill talk. But anyways, gambling, get that out. And you don't need that alcohol. It's just a gateway that leads to other things down the road and it ruins lives and does all kinds of stuff. It, you know, you don't need it. You know, now if you can moderate yourself and, and every occasionally ha have one, ain't nothing wrong with that. But most people can't just have one or two occasionally. They gotta have it. Instead of just one or two, they got to have the whole pack or they got to have a whole um, um, jug of it or whatever they call it. Um, oh, crap. Uh, barrel of it, you know, barrels of the stuff. And uh, a lot of people go broke drinking that because uh, they, they blow the whole paycheck on scratch off some beer. <laughs> you know, some people would rather drink than eat. And uh, that ain't a life to live, I can guarantee you that. Too much good food out there, you know what I'm saying? Trill talk, but uh, and stay up in your health game too. That's what I'm talking about. Don't don't eat no sweets, no chocolates, no cakes, no cokes, you know, candy bars, that kind of bull crap. I ain't had that in 15 years now, and I feel so much better and healthier. Uh, in fact, I probably couldn't have trekked this trek all the way down here to the Blue Springs if I hadn't have lost the weight I lost many years ago. Now, but. I'm trying to stay up on my physical fitness and health because it's so important as we age. We're going to need to stay up on that physical fitness. We're going to need to be strong because things happen as we get older. Illnesses, little things here and there that we didn't have before that could pop up. But if we got ourselves under control when we're young and we keep it that way as we get old, we can kind of maintain ourselves and keep a good fitness and maybe live a longer and happier life. And uh, that's just words of wisdom from your boy Merle, dog. And I ain't perfect. I know I ain't, you know, uh, occasionally I'll eat a potato chip or two with a sandwich, but I moderate myself. But I never, never eat sugary things that that trill talk. The only sugar I have is what's in the natural fruit. And, uh, Trill talk. But all this other stuff, buddy, uh, if I can do what I did, then you can do this too. And you can cut out uh, all this stuff in the comment right here. The gambling, the drinking, all that stuff. You can do it. It's in your mind. Get it out. Flush it down the commode and don't look back. It's like I say in my songs sometimes. Look at the clear view in front of you. Never look back in the rear view except for to learn from your past mistakes. And to never go back to them again, ever. Don't ever go back. I know I need a haircut, but it's getting long, but I skipped a month. But you know what? Sometimes it feels good to let that hair grow out. You know what I'm saying? That that trio talk, baby. <laughs> hey, let's get it. Let's go. <laughs> hey, country boy for life, baby. Blow.